All right, Julia Waller, our female athlete of the month for September for volleyball. Julia, congratulations. Uh, team playing well, and you've been a big part of it. Tell us a little bit about uh, what it's like for you this year on the team with uh, a lot of younger players. Yeah, I think it's definitely a lot different this year. We have a lot of freshmen and sophomores, which is cool to see the young talent grow. I think in the coming years, we're going to be really good as those girls progress. But yeah, it's really good to see the young talent. You do a little bit of everything for this team. Tell us about your role and uh, what are the things you try to do to help this team be successful? Yeah, I right now I pass that and hit. Um, it's definitely a little bit different than what I do in club, but yeah, it's definitely helping me grow as a player and just an overall volleyball player. What are the things that you're most proud of in terms of what you've been able to accomplish as a team this year? I think we definitely are like short in size, so I think like with our streak that we have so far, it's pretty good for the type of players that we have. We're a really strong serve and pass team, but we're not as good offensively as some other teams, so still being able to be successful without the size is really important. You guys hit a little bump in the road at the tournament in Sonoma a couple weeks ago. Um, what have you done to try to get the team back on track and try to get ready for league play? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've done some team bonding stuff. I think after that Sonoma tournament, we kind of had a dent. So I think just getting the team back together into one good mindset has been important. And also still working on our serving passing because that's our strength. So that's how we're going to beat teams. So that's what we've been focusing on in practice right now. And what are the things that you do to try to help yourself improve and to try to help uh, do more for the team. Yeah, I think I get extra reps for practice. Um, just keeping doing what I'm doing the same as in club and just helping my teammates. Um, I've been working on strength training too, so I can jump higher and stuff like that. And you were athlete of the month during the beach volleyball season, now the indoor season. Tell us a little bit about the difference between those two sports and, and what it takes to be good at both. Yeah, beach is definitely different. It's only two people on the court, so you have to do a lot more. But kind of there's the same leadership roles that I have to do in beach and in indoor. You have to take over more in beach, so it definitely is transitioned into indoor. It's helped me with all the skills that you need to be a good leader, and it's also got me stronger for indoor. All right, well, we're going to be broadcasting a couple of games coming up here real soon, particularly Maria Creo coming up. Looking forward to that. Congratulations on being our Athlete of the Month, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you.